wanna jump in the river We wanna dance in the rain Feel the heat of the fire Reigniting the flame See the gates of heaven Are opening wide once again We welcome you Come Holy Spirit We give you the room Come set our hearts on fire Completely for you We're hungry for the power of your presence We're desperate for another move of Jesus Oh, 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 oh. Every chain is breaking In the name of the Lord Good morning church family and welcome to our slightly shorter than normal church online. We're taking an opportunity over the summer of course to to be a little bit a little bit simpler, a little bit shorter. Uh, and that kind of fits with a lot of what we're looking at uh, over the summer. I'm going to have a a short opportunity for us to have a think about rest about Sabbath later. So it's shorter, it's simpler but I'm sure that God will still speak through this time and use it. And that's what we pray for. So let's open today's service just with a little bit of prayer before we move into a time of sung worship. Lord God, I just thank you for this opportunity in summer to slow down a little bit, to simplify a little bit, and to focus, Lord God, on you. To look at what you're doing. To try and understand rest, quiet, peace, Sabbath, Shalom, Shabbat, a little bit better. I just thank you, Lord God, that you are so interested in us, that you want us to be well, to be energized and to be healthy. So help us to understand that today, Lord God, as we look deeper into your word. We ask this in your name. Amen. Let's just have a little time of song worship now. Oh, 
Isaiah 58 verses 13 and 14. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honourable, and if you honour it by not going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words, then you will find your joy in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to the feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. What a, what a fascinating Bible verse that is. It's talking about a Sabbath, which is the day of rest. And rest is something I think we do or <laughs> in this culture really badly. Now, I don't know about you. I mean, I'm a, I'm a bit of a doer, maybe not as much as, as some in the church, but I, I like to do stuff and there's always stuff to do. So a day off can often not become a day of rest or a day with God, it can become a day of tasks. And that makes us feel useful. It makes us feel like we're contributing and helping and making a difference and changing things and easing some of the frustration that there can be because of the list of things that needs doing that builds up. <sighs> but it's not rest. It's not time off. And I'm sure people in um, an ancient Jewish culture understood this as well. Their work, their livelihood was important to them. So if they took a day of rest, that would have affected their livelihood. They could, they could earn more, they could support their family better if they pushed on through and they carried on working. But it says here, if you call the Sabbath a delight, and the Lord's holy day honourable. And if you honour it by not going your own way or your culture's way, and not going as you please or speaking idle words, then you will find joy in the Lord. There's a challenge. How many of us grudgingly try and rest, rather than using it as an opportunity to find joy in the Lord. It's a spiritual discipline. Something you need to practice at, to work at. Something you need to be graceful in as well, because actually you won't always do it well. Sometimes when we fall short, sometimes when we, you know, we've set aside this wonderful time for rest and it doesn't go right and we fall short and we beat ourselves up and we go that's it rest is spoilt for me now it's done it's dusted i can't do it no if we get knocked down if we fail do we give up or do we try again is it time for us all to try again at working out god's plan for rest for us because a lot of that's going to take incredible discernment. Discernment as to what to lay aside. What to get help with. We need wisdom. We need God's help. Godly eyes on our earthly human rest. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Let's just pray that over a little bit. Let's just spend a little bit of time chewing that over. Lord God, help us to rest. Shabbat. Rest our minds and our bodies, our souls and our spirit. Recharge us, Lord, as we dwell in your presence. Help us lay down the fears where we don't yet trust you. 
and with the situations that weigh us down and take rest from us. Help us to give them to you. Remove our desire for perfection, our need for acknowledgement. Lord, help us to rest. Lord God, help us to find peace, shalom, in the madness of life. Our increasing heartbeat slowed by newfound faith in you, the creator, the father, the one who flung stars into space. He loves me, little me. Help me to slow down and find calm as I ponder that. God and me, me and God. Me and the creator of all things. The maker of atoms wants me to find time for him. And he will give me all the time in the world. If only I would slow down. To talk and rest. To lay in his presence. Shabbat and shalom. Rest and peace in you, Lord God. Amen. So church family, um, that's it for our slightly shortened church online today. I really hope and pray that some of what we've looked at today just sticks with you and dwells with you as we try and find a way to do rest better. So I want to, I want to say a blessing over you. And it's quite pertinent given what we've been talking about today. So please, as we finish this service, take this blessing to you, into your heart and soul. Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. In the name of Jesus, God bless and amen.